what's going on YouTube this is Adam Guy here from A Guy Studios and today I'm going to be doing a tweaking tutorial for you basically it's going to be how to tweak your FSX config file um, basically what I'm going to do is show you how to delete your old config file first of all how to find your config file um, I will show you how to delete it basically how to set up your FSX um, and then basically the tweaks that you'll be making to your config file Right, so without further ado, let's dive in. The first thing you want to do is come down to your start panel and type in percent app D A T A percent. Enter. What that will do is that will then load up this page for you. Once this page loads, you want to come to Microsoft FSX. As you can see here, you have your FSX.CFG file. What you want to do is then delete it. That's it. Delete it. What that will do is when you next run FSX, that will basically create a new FS config file for you. Um, I'd recommend you doing it on a fresh one. I wouldn't sort of try tweaking a previous one or anything like that because you just probably end up having more problems with it. Right. One thing I will say with tweaking your FSX config file and the settings for Flight Sim, it is your PC. It, you should do it to your PC specifications don't copy mine you can if you want but it's up to you basically all I'm doing now is just showing you how to do this um, I highly recommend uh, um, checking out Costa's tweaking guide I'll put a link for that in the description um, I will also try and put some sort of download link for my config file I'll try and find a way to do that as well um, and also this document here basically what this is is this is just three of the main sort of tweaks that you would add in so it'd be the high mem fix buffer pools and the job scheduler uh, with the job scheduler I will quickly say now that goes on the amount of cores your processor has if you're running a quad core processor with no hyper threading then it'd be 14 if you're running a um, quad core with hyper threading or you're running a processor with more than a quad core then you would set that to 84 I'm running an, uh, an AMD sorry FX um, 6350 so it's a 6 core processor set of 3.9 Hertz um, right so yeah basically quad core only times full uh, equals 14 quad core with hyper threading or more than four cores 84 on the infinity mask on that one right so let's minimize that for the moment right what you want to do now then is now we're all ready to go so basically what you want to do is load your fsx file one thing i will say obviously when you redo a new config file you will have to install all the software again so you'll have to do all your easy dock um, any sort of added on aircraft not install it sorry but you have to give it permission to run as you're about to um about to see now really I am running Orbix as well, so it's probably have quite a lot to do, but it should be okay. Just hope it stays with us for the recording. So we go run, yes, run. Excuse me, run, yes, run, yes. No, for the moment, run, yes, run, yes. Right now we have FSX loaded. Unfortunately, it will load the stupid music. So what we're going to do for this purpose is turn that off quickly. Right, this is obviously, as you know, your main config page for FSX within FSX. What you set now, leave it. Basically, set these settings how you want your FSX to be permanently. Don't set them. Do your config file and then set them again because you'll end up messing up your config file and then it won't work properly or the whole idea of the tweaking would have just gone straight out the window alright so first things first we'll just check our sound everything's ok there, make sure the music's turned off um, controls, make sure the enable controllers are is ticked so you can use your joystick, yokes etc realism, disable flying tips, we do not want that um, it's up to you here whether you want to put whether it detects crashes, etc., etc. Um, auto radar, radar on, sorry, unlimited fuel off, enable auto mixtures, we'll leave that on for propeller planes, disable indica or display indicated airspeed. 
speed. We want that. We don't want true speed. Um, general. We want to untick pause and task switch. We won't worry about that. Untick the auto ATC open because it can be annoying. Um, as I found out in one of my videos, I was taking off. Um, I'd actually got on my channel. Uh, I was taking off and basically the air traffic control kept popping up and it basically sidetracked me and I ended up missing something and it wasn't very good. Right, um, tell you target frame rate, I'm going to put mine into unlimited because I'm using my NVIDIA inspector for also further tweaks. Um, I will do a video on that one day, I'm not doing that today, today I'm basically just concentrating excuse me today I'm basically just concentrating on the FSX config file and just the tweaks you would make to that my screen resolution is 1920 by 1080 uh, I'm gonna put my filter into Trinia I don't think there's any difference between Trinia and anastrophic I believe so Trinia anti-analyzing off as also that's been done by my graphics card global texture is very high lens flare leave on Advanced animations on information text is single line. Right. Aircraft. So 3D cockpit basic uh, default. Yep. Show cockpit tools off. High resolution 3D cockpit on. Aircraft cast shadows on the ground. We'll leave that on. Aircraft cast shadows on itself. We'll turn that off because that is a big frame rate hitter. And aircraft landing lights illuminate the ground. We'll leave that on. Because if you're doing a night flight, it looks really nice when you, you, your lights start to illuminate your thing. Right, with this, I'm going to put this to my specifications. This is sort of down to you on scenery. Basically, this is what will determine how good it runs. I know I've got a really good PC, so I can just turn all of mine basically up. Um, to that. You can copy that if you'd like. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'd also I'd have a play around with it, see how it runs. Um, you can use fraps to do benchmarking as well, just sort of get the settings and see which runs the best for you. Really, is the best way to put that one. Weather, cloud draw distance will put to 90, as I don't use Active Sky. If you'd use Active Sky, I believe that just resets it anyway. Uh, detail clouds, cloud coverage density to maximum. Uh, weight to weather changes, we'll leave that to none so it doesn't change. Dis disable turbulence and thermal effects on aircraft. Nope, we will leave that unticked because we want egg, we want turbulence and stuff like that. And uh, downloads winds a lot, so we'll leave that so we don't need to worry about winds and all sort of stuff like that because that can be a bit. Actually, no, we'll put that on, we'll pull it on, right? So that is no it's not done I forgot to do I always do that traffic right we're gonna turn air traffic density down general aviation off because obviously I use London Gatwick and Heathrow they have their own predetermined aircraft we'll leave that on medium road cars we will turn up to 40 ferries and ships will leave the same and disable aircraft labels I do that because I don't think it's realistic personally so now we hit OK right that is that everything on FSX is now done so what you can do is go ahead close your FSX down like so right so now your FSX is closed down what you now want to do is go back into your config file so percent app data percent hit enter go to Microsoft FSX FSX config file here we go so as you can see now it's created a brand new config file with all of our settings loaded that we had already done inside of FSX so now what we can do is just insert the tweaks that I've got here so the first one we have the buffer pools this can go anywhere so we will just copy I will like I said I will try and put this document in um, Oh, sorry, as a download sort of form, so you can just do what I'm doing here and just copy these over. Same with job scheduler, I've already set mine. Only thing I will say is if you, if I do do this and you do do manage to be able to download it and copy them over as I'm doing now, just remember, like I said, on the infinity mask that 
you need to know what processor or what cores your processor has because if you're using a quad core and you sell it to 84 I don't think it would do anything or it might do something wrong I'm not sure but just double check on that one so now we've got that set in and that set in another thing we need to do now is to add the high mem fix this is a very important one so copy and this needs to go under graphics so what we're going to do is we'll go to here graphics just move down control V high mem fix in there right so now we have the job scheduler with the infinity mask equals 84 buffer pools with pool size equals 0 and the high mem fix they're all in so now we can close this down I will actually leave this open for you guys to see um, maybe I can make that a bit bigger for you just so it's easier oh, there we go just so you guys can see that better right texture max load we want to set that to 4096 basically all that does is it just allows the game to load more graphics 4096 that's under texture max load here um the, 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 the next one we want to do is we need to come down to displays which is here basically any word inside the brackets is a section or a column or a chapter or whatever you want to put it I do sometimes like to separate them individually but for this video I won't be doing that because it does take quite long we want to set the wide aspect to true down here and so wide aspect view equals true right upper frame rate limiter if you're not using the video inspector and you are just doing this throughout the through in the game make sure you lock that 30 uh, if you're using the video inspector like myself then you don't really need to worry so much about that it's not a big thing right once you've done that you can then come down this is an optional one this one um, actually I'm gonna leave it off we'll leave it off you can change the load radius which Bright. It makes distances or stuff in the distance look a bit sharper and stuff like that. But the only problem is it can cause. Um, oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me on that one. Um, it can cause out of memory mirrors and all stuff and ooms and stuff like that. So we don't. I don't really want to mess around with that. To be fair, it's just down there. If you wanted to, it's under terrain load radius, and you could change that up to about six point five. Um, but I tend to leave that alone and my sim actually no we'll change it to 6.5 if it starts playing up then I can just put that back down to 4.5 basically that is done for your tweaks that is all you need to put in there is other stuff you can do like fiber frame time and all this like lot which basically determines the loads and it's okay but when I started putting stuff like that in it it, my FSX started crashing quite regularly and it gets quite annoying after a while and it, you, in the, at the end of the day you only want to improve your simulator you're not trying to make it look the best and the best in the world if obviously if you've got a lovely PC and you can do that then go ahead and do that that's great but for someone that's just looking just to have a good flight with good frames this is a very good sort of recommended tweaking guide for you I would say right once you've done all your tweaks you want to go ahead and click file save close that down we can close we'll leave that open whilst I'm talking just for a moment just so you guys can see it now what you want so I'm going to leave that there so if you want to copy it write it down whatever you want to do is up to you but right that is it basically that is how you tweak your FSX guy uh, your FSX config file it's quite simple um, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you could follow along quite easily uh, if you feel there's anything I could have done better please leave it in the comment guides if there's anything I've said or done wrong once again please leave it in the comments guide I am a new channel at uh, Guys Studios um, I haven't been going too long so I'm obviously trying to do the best I can to make the best videos I can but I am new to this I am also new to FSX believe it or not and um, I've only been playing it solid, solid solid now for about a year year and a half but i've only really started looking into depth within the last half year um 
I have got other videos on my channels, please go check that out. I've got one how to, I've got a tutorial for uh, the FMC on the, neighbor, on the Airbus Extended XA320. I've also got some lovely takeoffs, landings, and a now a full flight, which I've just uploaded from Gatwick to Paris, I believe. So go and check that out as well. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and I hope to see you and hear you hear from you guys soon. Um, this is Adam Guy from A Guy Studios, and thank you very much. Goodbye.